five really good cooks there. Yeah. So I'm excited to taste the dishes. Well, speaking of taste, let's get the first dish in. What's the dish? Today I've made a sesame beef tataki with a gochujang aioli, pickled vegetables, puff rice and carrot chips. You identified 15 ingredients correctly? Yes. How many of those 15 did you use? All 15, but I left the bean sprouts off the plate at the very last second, so the, beans, the bean sprouts aren't there, aren't there. Thank you. Right, Josh. Thank you. <laughs> Can I just say that looks it looks brilliant, spectacular. You know, sixty minutes to put up a dish that it's just so yum. Yeah, I absolutely love it. Delicious. Delicious. Tender beef. And that gochujang mayo, it's really subtle and it's beautiful. It's such brilliant cooking because you've got that sweetness and the sourness um, of the vegetables and the different crunches. Let's get the next dish in. It is a lot, a lot riding on this tasting. I'm not confident. What have you cooked, Rose? I've cooked a beef and mushroom broth with some vegetables. Do you have a good cook? Um, yeah, it was okay. I was if it's not great, then it's not great, but I feel good about it, so yeah. Rose, we're gonna taste. Thank you. Nice Thanks, Rose. Talking. Thank you. What up, Rose? Thank you. The eggs obviously slightly damaged. The, the beef's cooked really well. I'd actually like that little sprinkle of torn lava and sesame seeds. It's a nice little seasoning. Let's taste. Gary loves the egg, so he can crack it. Hey, that's the rice. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. I don't mind that broth at all. Well, it's good, isn't it? Mm. I like the beefy touch to it. It's clear, it makes you feel warm and fuzzy. Yeah. It's really yummy. This is simple and delicious. Like the broth, it's all about the beef. And then you've got that sort of salty, you know, seaweed, sesame over the top and creamy egg. What a nice tasting so far. Yeah. Great tasting so far. Let's get the next dish in. I'm feeling a little bit lost at the moment. This is my third elimination in a row, and, and it's starting to wear on me. I just hope that what I've done today is, is enough to keep me in the competition, because I know that I've still got a lot more to do. Matthew, what's the dish? Sesame tataki beef, toasted rice, and a kimchi salad. You probably improved more than anyone else. You put up some great food, and then the last couple of cooks, you've started to walk. From an emotional point of view, there are things that I'm struggling with. The longer I'm staying in here, the harder it's been. Hard for the kids, hard for my wife, and, and hard for me. Why is the sacrifice worth it? This is about making a career change in the middle of my life. You know, that's a hard thing to do. So as much as, you know, I would love nothing more than to go home and hug my kids, I want to stay here because I know what it means to me. Well, Matthew, it's time for us to taste, and hopefully, fingers crossed, this dish keeps you in the competition. Thanks a lot. Off you go. Thank you. I think the concern for me on that dish, I think it's going to be dry. It does it look doesn't, it very doesn't pop, sawdusty, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. It looks like someone sprinkled breakfast cereal around the edge, and, and that's a concern. That is a concern. Yeah. But, but maybe the juiciness of those vegetables will save the dish. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, is there omelette underneath? He does like a little surprise underneath it. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Not a bad dish. It tastes better than it looks. You, you know, what else really clever about it? By taking the, the juice from the kimchi, he's introduced some sourness, he's introduced some heat into the dish. He goes so well with that beef. It's such a beautiful combination of flavours. But don't get all oh, the omelets there. It really doesn't even have any, any roles playing the dish. Based on the first two dishes, which were stellar, um, yeah. this, oh, one, yes. this, one's, this one's poles apart. I'm really happy with the way it looks. I just hope that egg is cooked correctly. So when the judges pierce it, it just oozes and gives a really nice softness and creaminess to the dish. So what have you cooked for us? I've cooked a kimchi soup with a softball egg and I've used the vegetables as noodles. Pleased with it? I'm happy with the dish. I feel like it's a bit inventive and I was nice and calm throughout the cook. Good. Sarah, thank you. Thanks, guys. Look at the colour. Look at the colour. Ready, boys? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That is good. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> I love how she's done the noodles in you know, different different shapes in terms of you've got this flat noodle of vegetable of daikon, you've got this carrot that's done sort of nice and fine, and you think you're eating noodles, but you're not. She's used the kimchi and the sesame and the lava and created a very beautiful dish. This is one of those dishes that sits in now my list of top 12 things I've been yeah. the show. I yeah. think it's really clever. Let's get the final dish in. I'm feeling really nervous. I know that I've had very minimal ingredients, but I think I've made the right decision of picking the elements that will work together. So I'm really hoping that the judges will love the dish. John, what have you cooked? Um, I've cooked for you today a um, Korean rice ball with a gokuchang mushroom and cucumber stir fry, served with a egg custard and a confit garlic aioli. Is there anything else that you could get on the plate? <laughs> oh, today was crazy because I was trying to get as much flavour as I can with the te um, 10 ingredients that I had, and um, hopefully you like it. We know there's some good stuff there, John. Is there enough good stuff to save you? You can only find out by tasting. Shall we? Yep. Thank you, John. Thank you. Those crunchy rice balls with that spicy cucumber are absolutely the most delicious combination. But the egg custard, why? The mayonnaise, no. So it's tried too hard. It's tried too hard, and you can tell th this cook has been trying to do too much and not focused in. So that leaves uh, the two boys then in the bottom, doesn't it? I, I think it's a, a tough choice. On one hand, you've got John's dish, which has got two really good elements and two elements that are pretty nasty. On the other hand, you've got Matthew's dish, which has really got nothing terrible on it, but it's, yeah. there's nothing where you go wow about. If he stays in, he stays in on the skin of his uh, teeth on this one. I know my decision. 